The scene of action moves across the Harlem River to the Polo Grounds in the lee of Coogan's Bluff for the third game. 52,035 fans, the largest crowd ever to witness a World Series game in a National League ballpark, are gathering in the Polo Grounds. Today, DeRosa is depending on the good right arm of big Jim Hearn against the Yankees veteran right-hander, Vic Rassi, a 21-game winner during the past season. To Mrs. John McGraw, widow of the immortal giant manager, goes the honor of throwing out the first ball at the Polo Grounds and the game is underway. Leading off in the Giants' second, Bob Thompson drills a hit through Brown's leg. It's a two-base hit for Thompson. Then Mays drives a single into right field that scores Thompson. And the Giants take an early one to nothing lead in the ball game. The Giants' one to nothing lead still stands in the bottom of the fifth frame. After one out, Eddie Sankey walks in a full count. Darks the next batter. And there goes Stanky. He's caught stealing second, but kicks the ball out of Rizzuto's glove into center field and continues to third on the two-base error. When play is resumed with the infield drawn in, Dark drives a base hit straight away into center field, scoring Stanky. And the Giants have a two to nothing lead. Hank Thompson smashes a hit and run single into right field that moves Dark to third. Monty Irvin bangs a sharp one to Brown. Dark is called out at the plate. But Vera drops the ball. Umpire Paparella reverses his decision. The error tallies run number three for the Giants. Hank Thompson went to second on the play. Irvin's on first, still one away. Whitey Lockman is the batter. He gets set and rifles a low line drive into the right field stand. Lockman's homer scores Thompson and Irvin ahead of him. Whitey tallies the fifth run of the inning, and the Giants have a commanding six to nothing lead. Lockman's three run blast is the end of the line for the Yankee hurler, Vic Rashi. Bob Hogue comes in to take over on the mound and retires the next two batters. Going into the eighth, the Yanks still trail six to nothing. Rizzuto, the first man up, is hit hard on the right forearm. Gil McDougald then rams a base hit into center field. Rizzuto holds up at second. There's one away when Barra taps a slow roller. Hearn has to make the play at first, and both runners advance. Bobby Brown walks to load the bases. Collins works Hearn for a 3-2 count, then walks, forcing Rizzuto over the plate with the first Yankee tally of the game. This eighth pass issued by Jim Hearn brings DeRosa from the dugout. Sheldon Jones is called to the mound, and Hearn takes that same long walk that Rashi took a little while ago. When Jones shuts the door in Bauer's face, three men left in base, and the Yankee threat is over. There's one away in the Yankee ninth when Gene Woodling takes his stand in the batter's box. Jones pitches and Woodling hammers a well hit drive that clears the right center field wall. Woodling's round trip is the second Yankee homer of the series. After the second out, Gil McDougald follows to Lockman to end the game in a 6-2 victory for the Giants as they take a 2-1 lead in the series.